Hi, it's Rowena from Weymouth Bay Reflexology. I'm going to show you a video today to work on all the head reflexes, so all of your sinuses, your throat, um, your brain, and um, if you're suffering from any congestion, obviously at this time of the year, not only do we have viruses to look out for, but uh, there's hay fever because pollen is increasing. So if you are outside at all and you do get hay fever symptoms, it's quite useful to work on the head reflexes. Uh, to try and um, reduce the effects that pollen might have on your body. So to start with, I'm just going to start with the solar plexus. So find the centre point of your hand and just gently hold it. Allow yourself a few deep breaths just to help settle system. It's a good way to tell yourself, tell your body that you're about to do something nice for it. So the reflexes we're working on today, we're focusing on the head. So they're all located in the fingers and the thumb. Um, so we're going to start on what's called the dorsal surface of your hand. Okay. And we're going to work on the head reflexes first. And the thumb is the one where you can find all the reflexes for all sorts of things like teeth, sinuses, brains. Um, there's also lots of glands that work the endocrine system. We're just going to gently work our way up and down the whole of the thumb from the base of the thumb where that big bone your joint is up to the base of the nail and then if you remember get your wiggly snake or your caterpillar and just gently work across now this is going to be working across the sinus area on the front of your face so you might feel, actually I am at the moment, um, that if you've got any bunged up mucus or anything, that might start to release. So don't be surprised if that happens. That's entirely normal. Okay. Then we're going to move on to the next finger. And just carry on gently working from the base of the finger. And I always start just up to the knuckle for sinuses. And you can usually make two or three passes up each finger. Now obviously I'm going a little bit faster than I would usually if I was giving somebody a treatment. I would take this much more slowly. But videos take a lot of phone memory and the shorter they are, the easier they are to load. But you take it slow. If you rush, your body will sense that you're rushing and it will start to um, react to that feeling of being pushed into something. And the reflexology won't be as effective. I'm going to give all of those a really good going over and then I'm going to work on the other side, on the palm side of my hand, just to make sure that they've had a full workout. So I'm actually going to start from the little finger and again I'm just working up from the base of the finger towards that first joint. You can work the whole finger if you want to but I've found in practice that sinuses are generally located at this end of the fingers but you can experiment um, it's your reflexology treatment you can do what you like if you find a place that feels a little bit sore as I've said before work on it just go over it again give it a little bit more time and attention and then when you come to the thumb again from that bony part there up to the 
bottom of the pad. And sometimes just running your finger along rather than wiggling can really help. Okay, so we've done all the sinuses. So now I want to work on the eyes and the ears because obviously all of these cavities within your head are connected. So it's good if you, as particularly if you've got hay fever, your eyes might be um, swollen, puffy, they might feel sore, and your ears, because they're connected to the sinus cavities eventually, um, may also feel um, muffled. You might find that you're not hearing as well. So it's important to work everything. So we're going to work the eye reflexes on these two fingers and the ear reflexes on these two fingers and they are focused around that first knuckle. Um, and of course if you've been feeling a bit sad lately, uh, which is entirely normal I would think in the current circumstances, your eye reflexes might be sore from crying. So again this is another way that you can help to support yourself. So I'm just working across these two fingers at that first knuckle. And then I'm going to turn my hand over and work the other side, okay? Just to be extra thorough. And then I'm going to, because I'm on this side anyway, I'm going to work the ear reflexes, so exactly the same thing. Just go over that knuckle area. Two or three times is often all you need. Three's a good number. And then I'm going to come back to those and work them on the palm side. And now I'm going to work the brain reflexes. If you remember from my previous videos, the brain's reflexes I locate on the tips of the fingers. So just a gentle circular movement. You don't need to use too much pressure. If you want to, then you can, but I tend not to use too much. So again, just moving from one finger to the next, nice and steadily. This can be very calming sometimes, it's just that contact with your brain that says it's okay, it's fine, you're safe, everything's going to be fine. Um, you might want to work back. Then I'm going to look at the throat reflex, which we've worked before, which is this area here around the base of the thumb. You can approach it from any angle you can get to, really. Just gently walk around there. Again, this one may feel a little bit sore. If you've got any hay fever or cold, your throat quite often does get sore. Your tonsils tend to um, swell up because they are actually helping you with your immune response. So work all that area there. And then back to the solar plexus. Some more nice deep breaths. And then I'm going to work the lung area. And just gently walking up here. It might feel a little bit crunchy if you've got any kind of um, cold or cough or even uh, asthma going on there, then these, these reflexes can feel under your thumb either tender or um, crunchy or gritty. Uh, so just working on the areas that you feel need the attention. 
And again, taking it nice and steady. Go a little bit slower than this. We'll work that whole lung area. And then we're going to work the diaphragm again because it helps to stimulate good deep breathing which is important for lots of things oxygenating the blood particularly helping us to feel calm and the diaphragm is roughly along this line here and we're just going to walk all the way across make sure you go all the way Do that two or three times. Again, I like three. Three is the magic number. It seems to work really well. And then you can go back to the solar plexus. Now just remember to do both hands. Don't leave yourself beautifully reflexologied on one side and not done on the other. It's important to do both. I will be doing a printout, so if you head to my website, raymondbayreflexology.co.uk and go to my video page, there's a link to freebies there and you can find all of the charts that I've made for the videos that I've done so far. And I hope that you will join me again next time. Bye.